How about Rigani? First fruits. Today is Sunday, December the 13th, 2020. 13th day of first fruits. Welcome you to Fruit Students Archie Hour. This is Louis Mana, your hostess for today's African Mother's Day tribute. And this is the lazy calabash in the background. Amen. Okay, we got a jam packed program today. One minute. Okay, what's going on in the world this week? Well, the COVID situation is um, getting worse by the day. Positivity rate as of Saturday the 12th was 8.66%. It was 8.7. But I think as long as we should be in the red zone. But we're still on a song for the time being. The UFR and Russia's Regional have um, moved most of the surgeries to free up best, for, free up best COVID patients. But while, while we stay in the, in the orange zones, that the governor is focusing more on hospital capacity. And that that will, that's his main metric to determine the, um, the three COVID zones, as it were. So what's saving us Monroe County, even though we have the highest compensation rate of all the regions in the state, what's keeping us kind of steady, if, if you, if you, um, if it makes sense, is that the ICU situation is um, not severe. We have enough ICU beds for the time being. So, um, but the main thing is that we can go back to barber shops, the nail salons, the beauty salons, and the gym. Starting money to 14. We celebrate the birthdays of uh, our customer now in heaven, Sam Davis Jr. and Red Fox. If you recall, the you know, Albrock Malcolm, excuse me, Red Fox was just defer, referred to as Detroit Red or Chicago Red. He and Malcolm um, were close friends with their house in Harlem. Back in the 40s. Maybe those were some peace. Let's put a few folks in our entertainment world and um, some of our historical Agassiz Institute. We lost out of Marcus Garvey Jr., age 90. He, lived in, he was living in South Florida and he has all sorts of disease. May he rest in peace. Well, so a few entertainers. Um, sister, sister, um, unsung actress Natalie Desel Reed, best known for her co star role with, with Halle Berry in the movie BAPS, Babs. She also did um, How to Be a Player, one of the movies, um, Cinderella, TV version with Brandy and Lee Whitney Houston, among other um, things. She did. Um, TV show called E. She was one of the co-stars with, with um, the show with Eve the Rapper, who later went on to um, co-host the um, the talk. She was Nellie was one of the three, played one of Eve's um, business partners. They, they had a um, design shop, and she was one of the um, partners with even another actress. And she has a colon cancer, age fifty three. Same season took Chuck Bozeman and Minister Evans out, colon cancer. And it was also her family as well. Plus, we lost um, Tiny Lister, who was a wrestler and football player and later on um, went to acting. Best known for playing Debo in the Freddy franchise. May he rest in peace. He was 52. And he was, um, was coming from COVID. 
but they're saying that he may have a head again. We also lost um, on, on the 12th, um, late in the afternoon, Christina Charlie Pride, age 86 from COVID. Um, this past November, um, at the CMA Awards, Country Music Awards, he received a Lifetime Achievement Award, and he performed with another up-and-coming Black country singer. That was the last major um, performance of Black TV parents. Charlie Pride, many times Black, and by the way. May you also rest in peace. And um, there's another tragic um, incident involving a um, young man killed by law enforcement. Another horrific, horrific situation. And they, you know, young man's name is Casey Goodson Jr. out of Columbus. He was shot by a sheriff's deputy um, in front in his house from his grandmother and his rest of his family. Um, he came on with he came up with that was problem with he stopped with subways. He came to the house, was shot in the doorway, fell down from his family. Yes, yeah, apparently some whatever happened, the police thought he had a gun, looking for somebody else, and they shot him by mistake. Twenty-three years old. I never never had a um problem with the police before. Very tough situations. The FBI is now investigating the case. I put links to all this information in the bottom of the video. I'm going to scroll to his family as well. Anyways, um, 45 is still acting silly about this election. Friday night, Supreme Court tossed out the case involving the um, that a Texas Attorney General try to sue in regards to the outcome of the election. He was getting the business of Georgia, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and Michigan. But he's saying that um, those elections were in whatever. Um, but if you cross talk that case, that was ridiculous. It made no sense. Why is Texas interfering with other states high handle elections? So that case is tossed out. Anyway, 30 more days is nonsense. Ridiculous. Okay. Okay, so this is our pro for the day. Welcome to Black National Anthem. Scripture your reading. It's update. About campaign summary. Policy statement. How to make best of COVID versus Kwanzaa se season. COVID-19 versus in Russia's Monroe County. Announcements, thank yous. First is quantum schedule. Um, for our history, for African Month this year, we, we talk about the, the Kenyakis of Kush or Nubia, Psalm 23, Quantum Your Life. We'll have an archive in Evans dealing with Quantum First Fruits, and two closing quotes. And we'll have a birthday, we'll, we'll play our birthday for jazz. When is her birthday? Okay, we're going to um, have an answer sung by, once again, Woman of Calabash. Enjoy.
Amen. Tom the Calabash, whatever is up, live your voice and sing. Can you move on all the program? Can you? Oops. Sorry about that. Okay, scripture means came from Deuteronomy 26, verse 2. Reads as follows That thou shalt take of the first of all the fruit of earth, which thou shalt bring of thy land, that the Lord thy God giveth thee, and shalt put it in a basket. And shall go unto the place which the Lord thy God shall choose to place his name there. Amen. May the Lord bless the Lord, read his holy word. Amen. This is from Amsterdam News from um, 11. And I guess also another aspect of the. Um, the, the, the vaccine which is coming is being shipped out of the street to um, all 50 states. And the title of this article is called Vaccine and Race. Reports says COVID vaccine may not be spread for Blacks. By Stephon Johnson. Okay, so I'm not going to read the whole article. It's kind of lengthy, but I'll read the highlights. Well, doctors, Introduce the COVID-19 vaccine to the public. One report suggests that ancestry could play a role in its effectiveness. A recent study by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology titled Predicted Cellular Immunity, Publishing Coverage Gaps for SARS-CoV-2 Soviet Vaccines and the Augmentation by Compact Peptide Sets. Researchers found that close to 10 percent of Asian participants didn't respond as well as to vaccine as whites, 0.5 percent. According to David Gifford, MIT professor and senior author of the open report, which used artificial intelligence and machine learning to test a COVID vaccine similar to those words on by Moderna, AstraZeneca, and Pfizer. This means the various vaccines might not work as well for people of black and African, African I'm sorry, black and Asian ancestry, excuse me. Quote, our work shows that clinical trials need to truly consider ancestry in their safe designs to ensure that efficacy is measured across an appropriate population. Quote, said MIT, MIT professor and see author David Gifford. Quote, while we should proceed with the current vaccines, there needs to be further research and planning if they are found to be not as effective or durable as spread in all populations, end quote. Question is the vaccine is just relegated to MIT professors. There's a study on risk and health, but undefeated, and the Kaiser Family Foundation found that almost half the Black people survey said they won't take it. 22% probably not. And 27% definitely not. When asked for reasons as to why they went to get a vaccine, the 9% of white people said they don't want they don't want it or need, need it, and black people said city concerns, like a trust. 39% city the concerns, 34% like a trust, excuse me. With a history of medical mistreatment and Tuskegee experiment in the recent past. Some would question, some suggest, excuse me, that black people are justified in the distrust of the vaccine. This week, Anthony Fauci participated in a conversation with a black coach against COVID, a group made up of black doctors, leaders, academics, and religious figures, urging the community to take the vaccine seriously and get it when it's available. Dr. Fauci said statistics for the synergies control. And prevention that show that black people are almost three times more likely to die from the coronavirus once they're infected. Infected, excuse me. Can I see some other parks have to do with New York City? 
There's very com community's overall misgivings about the vaccine. Good nurses are fighting to get a community involved I mean, get a community to trust the process while dealing with their own mental health. The National Black Nurses Association will launch two campuses on December 15th under their, quote, Wallace Initiative, end quote, and MBNA Resilient Nurse Research called Rethink, R-E-T-H-I-N-K, in capital letters. The initiative's goal is to create awareness around vaccinations, focus specifically on influenza and pneumococcal, which is the um, fish that are caused by bacteria and cause um, fish rich, including ear infections and pneumonia. Another goal of NBNA's initiative, which can be found at NBNA, I mean, NBR Think, hold on a second. N-B-A-R-E-T-H-I-N-K dot com is debunk, de debunk myths about vaccines and top its, its benefits. It will also include a support line, free counseling for nurses and text therapy sessions. Meanwhile, a group of Black doctors want to ensure that people that they'll be taken seriously and taken care of by the hospitals. In a quote, love letter to Black people, quote, the black question against COVID-19 call for the community to continue following guidelines while more studies are conducted on the vaccines. Quote with holidays around the corner, you want nothing more than to break bread with our loved ones, read a letter, but tradition cannot stand in the way of our health. We plead with you to wear your mask, continue social distancing, hand washing, and avoiding indoor events until the vaccines are readily available, end quote. The coalition includes his black doctors from the Charles R. Drew University of Medicine and Science, National Black Nurse Association, Howard University, Mary Medical College, National Medical Association, Memorial School of Medicine, and the Cobb Institute. Quote, we also ask you to join us in participating in clinical trials to get a vaccine once it's proven safe and effective. To the letter. We want we know that our clear role in helping to create a vaccine that works with black people and that we trust has impact on our very survival. End quote. So from the Amsterdam News from December 10th, entitled Vaccine and Race reports this COVID vaccine may not be as effective for blacks. End quote. And I'll put a link in the video as well. Amen. Very interesting take on this. Situation. So we got a lot of things about, about the vaccine. I was feeling it's going to be um, can't folks taste vaccines worse than give us to the census. It's going to be a struggle. We'll see. Um, because you had the um, the drive-through um. Flour and mass delivery, we didn't do bottles. So those who brought bottles this week will um will be an increased count. Thank you for bottles and cans this week. Can I get the policy statement of the institute? One minute. Okay, the policy statement reads as follows. First, community information incorporated. The spiritual cultural organization, Antioch Church, the most vulnerable African people. When I was agency, there was a sort of agency. A person that's a close 71, but has a few religious determination. Which is a word, community leader, community people do not follow. This world leads by actually sends offensive programs. We refuse to give anyone original ideology. Our goals are to fill the of African people. This is all the biggest not accepted. This one is the truth. It's reality, it's duology. The problem is always available for our people. We just follow the demands. Remember, support is our constituency. Our constituency has the right to make demands on us. Amen. That's probably the statement.
Probably like the best was a COVID versus cool answer. For going to an event, consider the current infection in the community where the event is. Gotta look at these facts like how long the event is, how many people will be at the event, will masks be enforced, with social distancing, will there be people traveling to different places. If you've been exposed with the, to, with the virus, if you've been diagnosed with the virus, or are risk being exposed or have been exposed, has since or wait to yourself, stay home to go to any events. If you do go to the event, mask up, wash your hands, and distance. Send Kwanzaa cards. We have some here at the Institute. All the Kwanzaa kids, blow candles, whatnot. We'll send family via Zoom. Support by business, back on business as much as possible. We're still in orange, orange sound. Most of us are in the orange zone, so please be careful. The, there are um, free rather rapid COVID tests available at four city locations East High School, Wilson Marion High School, Jordan High School, and Franklin High School. And a permit for asymptomatic, no symptom residents. And I've just to start free shuttle buses to transfer people to. To and from Texas at Franklin and East. Now, with the information about the video. Our students are open for take home meals and learning labs and other recreation activities. But that may change as of Monday. We'll see. Our city libraries are closed to the public still. Costa Rica is built at the downtown library. City Hall, Travolition's office, and Bureau of Park and Mr. Covolition's office on East Main Street. Over 92 Monday through Friday. For more information on the COVID situation in our county, you can go to the dashboard, the dashboard at moral.gov. And don't forget about the COVID alert in your app. Also, if you want to check any as new state is what zone they're in, or if the yellow, orange, or red, or whatever. COVID hotspot, look up the health.ny.gov. It's the website for that. Okay, student dollar jar at 4 p.m. Limited seating. I thank Brother Brian Brother Seb. Oops. For going out. Oh, one second. But I thank Brother Brian and Brother Seb for going out. Doing um the, the flower drive through. Folks very appreciative. I got a lot of phone calls about it. So I want to thank both brothers for their service. Thank you, Bows and Cans. It's not late to give the Kwanzaa appeal. Like, like shot those who gave the Kwanzaa appeals thus far. For the worth, Sister Vic, yours truly, Sister Jackie Hopkins, Brother Saul, Sister Eleanor Johnson, Brother Zeb, and Sister Liz Danielli. Paul George, George Center Race was going to take January the 5th. George Race, Center Race, will determine. Who controls the Senate, Republicans or Democrats? There's two um, progressive Democrats, Brother Reverend Warnock and Christian Brother John Orsoff. They're um, campaigning against two very wealthy Republicans who um, so stuck to found about the coronavirus situation. They're very crooked. So we must follow this race. The whole world is looking at this race. If the, if the two Democrats win this race, the Democrats have control of the um the se- of the Senate. Mr. Connor cannot carry out his obstructionist ways. So we must, must, must do what we can to support the Georgia race. You know, folks in Georgia, please encourage them to vote. Oh, if one starts in Georgia, May the 14th. Um there was a debate last Sunday with um, Reverend Warnock and the silly female Kelly Leffler. I'll be so like race. It was crazy, to say the least. Okay, if you, haven't, if you didn't see, I'm sure it's on YouTube or CNN or whatever. But um, it was a very interesting debate. And other debate, the um, also was there by himself. 
you're the candidate. Purdue did not show up. So see how that goes. Okay, on Monday the 14th, two significant things happened. Other women kids in Georgia also led to our college. We get together to um meet and um cast their votes. I'm sure 45 is, is trying um country kind of way to return the election on Monday with Electoral College. Let's give it up. Turn to when it comes soon, soon enough. Okay, next thing in the 20th, we'll have our third public prayer story at 4 p.m. Today at 4 p.m. we'll have our Second storytelling and prayer and whatnot. Seven twenty six starts to the Queen of Kwanzaa. I was doing YouTube live six p.m. Seven twenty seven be virtual service. Also four p.m. the impressive recording for the Brian. First what they would talk about. Krishna Gali Anujima. Monday twenty eighth, twenty nine third. I was doing YouTube live six p.m. Thirty first, so sharp doing. A Zoom meeting for Kumba and Imani. ID for the meeting is 947-7279-4373. Passcode 719-742. Phone number 646-558-8656. For January 1st, Imani. I don't know we know public events here at the Institute. Um, you folks. You guys can um have your own feast with your own me family, exchange gifts, whatnot, if you desire. Amen. If you need a canara, please contact me. We should have to get your own candles. To come to physical distancing at 4 p.m. service will not be holding hands or candle blowing. Psalm 23, Jesus falls. What was my shepherd? I should not want. Miss let down green pastures. He's beside still waters. He restores my soul. He's in the past righteousness for his name's sake. He thought about the thought of of death. I will feel evil, for you are with me. You ride, your staff, they comfort me. You repair it till before me, present my enemies. You know my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all is in my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. The Lord bless those people's holy word. Amen, amen, amen. My sister killer. Back in the day, it's one of the songs closest things to sing. I'll recite it. It's going to be a great celebration. We have a cause in your life. Great celebration. Great celebration. Great celebration. Great celebration. Your life will be filled with unity. Unity with your family and then your community. Great celebration. Great celebration. Great celebration, great celebration. You'll be planning your own destiny. Great celebration, great celebration, great celebration, great celebration. What a celebration will be. You have a in your life. It's in your life. It, yes, in your life. It's in your life. Yes, in your life. We'll get together as a people. We can make things right. By struggling with a lot of might. 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 With all our might. What a celebration this will be. We put Kwanzaa in your life. It's in your life. It's in your life. It's in your life. It's in your life. You have a purpose in your life to create your own institutions as part of life. As for the life, as for the life, as for the life. Harry Tubman, so the life. 
All right. All right. Marcus Garvey. You saw the light. You saw the light. You saw the light. Elijah Muhammad. He saw the light. He saw the light. He saw the light. Malcolm X. He saw the light. He saw the light. He saw the light. Mother Jordan. She saw the light. She saw the light. She saw the light. Mrs. Lawrence Evans. He saw the light. He saw the light. He saw the light. The mother. The mother on He saw the light. He saw the light. He saw the light. What a celebration it will be. You put Kwanzaa in your life. You will find the truth, the light, and the way. Yes, and the way. Yes, and the way. When you put Kwanzaa in your life. My minister, Kila Ife, Mr. of Peace. She was the ultimate queen mother, bar none. Me, her mentions. One of the best things in my best things to happen to me in my life. Amen. For Mother's Day, I'll be talking about the candy keys of Kush. Amen. Candy key was a royal title for queens and queen mothers of the ancient African kingdom of Kush, which was the ancient Nubian state. Centered along the Nile Valley, was known as the Republic of the Sudan. Kush was a prosperous land, was a prosperous land, excuse me, ruled from the kettle up oh, from the kettle Meroe, M-E-R-O-E. The Kanakis, also known as Nubian women and the Nubian war, Nubian war, war queens, excuse me, control what were now Ethiopia, Sudan, and was Egypt. The English word is Kanasi. So the queens rule in their own right, or some rule with their husbands. The Kanakis had absolute authority. They farmed, traded with eat Greeks, and built pyramids. Some were warriors who led their armies into battle. A few of the most famous Kanakis were um, Shada Shinak Dakit, from 1775 BC. She was the earliest known ruling queen of ancient Nubia. She built Temple F at Nakar, NAQA, in the second century BC. Her pyramid in Meroe is one of the largest pyramids built by the kings of Kush. Okay, then, was, then there was Amani Renas, who ruled in 40 BC to 10 BC. She the Kush armies against the Romans in a war that lasted from 27 to 22 BC. Because Roman, because Roman Kush, excuse me, reaches the stalemate, she spared her people from centers of domination, and did not cede large swaths of territory or pay money to Rome. She was described as brave and blind in one eye. And then there was Amone Shakito, and she was from 10 BC to 2 BC. She was the most powerful and wealthiest among the rulers of Meroe. She built considerable pyramids and temples at Wad, W-A-D, Naka, N-A-Q-A-A, where she resided and was buried with great treasures. Treasures. Then it was Amani Tori. She was from 1 to 20 A.D. She was involved in restoring the large temple from Moon, A-M-U-N, Emeroe, and a moon temple at Napata, it was demolished by the Romans. Her royal palace was on a mountain in modern-day Sudan, known as Gebel Barkal. G-E-B-E-L-B-R-K-A-L. The pyramid of Amanatori of Amanatori is in Sudan. That's just a few of the Kanakis. Amen. Okay, next up, we'll have um, all of Minutes Evans. This is from 1994. We have Family Service. And this um, lesson was called Quantum's First Fruits, 374 994. Please enjoy. This is really an hour.
பண்ணு
And that was Ms. Evans speaking from December 4th, 1994, Horns from the First Fruit. Okay, um, before we conclude, um, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, um, I want to send condolences to the 390, 390 single folks that have died. In our in our Monroe County, 390 souls we've lost to COVID since March. 390 people. Our condolences go to the families and friends of all of us who've lost Monroe County since the beginning of this pandemic. Video rest in heaven. Okay. And um, nationwide, we are almost at 300,000 souls we've lost nationwide to this virus. Almost 300,000. And 45 cannot engage Congress to pass a coronavirus relief bill. All these folks suffering. And it's, they can't get together in Washington. Anyways, um, I'm going to you kind Livy. Um, today, um, they take Taekwondo, and today their their school their the school they go to take Taekwondo lessons. They did a live stream on YouTube, and the students had to do um kicks for like a minute or two, and they were timed. Um, Kai did came on number one is age group of boys. Then they came on number two in their age group of girls. So um, I can both of them. And if I can find the link to the video, I'll put it in the bottom of the video as well. Because it's kind of living. Okay, um, I want to read two more quotes from the book that Zakiwa had. She had a book called Many Seven People Voices. i read two more quotes. This is from late Icon Mary Makeba. And her quote is, there are three things I was born with in this world. There are three things I have I will have till the day I die. Hope, determination, and song. That was close to the good switchy. That's Mary McCain. I make sure rest in peace. Okay, second quote from Armor Marks Armor Marks Messiah Garvey. He says now ancestors as well. And his quote is very simple. Black is beautiful. From Marcus Garvey. And so this killer bet um had a children has a song called Black is Beautiful. So let's just do a more of and and little things remind me sister killer. Make sure it's in peace. As I mentioned as well. I'm sure they would have been happy that we were able to African Mother's Day for distribution in a cover safe manner. Hopefully next year we can be in a group at Institute on the 15th. Amen. I'm sorry. Um, I just want to um, play everybody for jazz. One second. Hey, buddy, Jazz. I'm doing very well with you are. And she's probably a baby crying in the background when Ms. Ernst was speaking. I had the pleasure of watching her grow up and 
She's doing quite well. Hope oh, she's all right wherever she is. Amen. That includes Iger Mother's Day commemoration for Sunday, December 13th, 2020, 30 Day of First Fruits. I want to um, learn one. I'm going to bring you off the um, one issue of the Challenger, the top banner. Our COVID 19 numbers are rising. Protect yourself and others. Wear a mask and personal distance in public. Make safe choices. Stay well. Stay positive. Stay prayerful. And please use common sense. I will see you next Sunday. For another edition of First Tunes of Jawa. This is Swing Oni. Have a safe day of the week. I love you all. Be safe. Kind of forever. First fruits. Amen. Have a good day. I love you all. Happy African Mother's Day. Amen.